Hey guys, welcome back to Cook Like Sasha. So it's Easter time and of course here in Jamaica it's the time when we fry fish Escovite style with festival and all of that good stuff. And today I'm gonna show you just how I do it. So let's go. I'm starting out with some fresh fish. Here I have some parrot fish, mangrove snapper, yellowtail snapper and some tilapia. My fish has been cleaned and washed and to begin seasoning I have mixed up some salt, black pepper and red chili powder and also some Maggi all purpose seasoning. To season the fish, sprinkle the seasoning generously over the fish and rub it in well and don't forget to season the inside of the fish. So just pat in the seasoning, ensure that you get it everywhere. And if you score the fish like I did, you can just rub it into the flesh to ensure that it soaks in. In case you are wondering how to tell if the fish is fresh, you can check the eyes. If they are bright and shiny, then you know the fish is fresh. But if the eyes have a white look, then you know the fish has lost its freshness. Also, the meat should be firm. If it is mushy or looks white and slimy, that's a no-no. So that's how you can tell if your fish is fresh. So this fish right here is called the cutlass fish. It almost looks like an eel. It is very long and it doesn't have much bones or scales but the taste is very good guys very very good so because the fish is very long they had to cut it up into smaller pieces next time moving on to my sprat fish this is by far one of my favorite favorite fish you know from school days from a little picnic everybody always stop at the shop and buy sprat fish because they're just so delicious and affordable like it needs to be like ten dollars for one so i'm gonna start frying my fish by heating up my pan i specifically bought this pot to fry fish because it's very big and wide so i'm gonna heat up my pan and um ensure that the oil is very hot I also added some garlic and hot pepper, a hot scotch bonnet pepper to the oil and I'm just adding my fish one by one carefully because this oil is very very hot so you have to be careful. I'm frying the fish about four to five minutes on each side. For the spread fish and the cutlass fish, I'm gonna fry them until they become crispy because yeah, that's the best way to have spread for me. So that's how I'm gonna do it. You wanna ensure that you keep the flame high so that the fish doesn't stick when it's time for you to turn it. So just make sure so the fire is on high. And you're gonna monitor the fish ensure that it's not sticking so that when it's time to turn the fish you won't have any problems see nice and easy just like that for me personally I don't like when the the bigger fish are too dry so I'm not gonna keep them too long in the pot and it's fish it doesn't take forever to cook so you don't need a lot of time so I'm gonna allow mine to cook for about four to five minutes on each side and then I'm gonna take them out
Remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And remember to click that bell icon so you'll never miss another video. Now that the fish is done, I'm gonna get started on the festival. I'm using three cups of flour, two teaspoons of salt, two tablespoons of baking powder, and I'm gonna sift out all the lumps. Next, I'm gonna add three tablespoons of sugar, and this is gonna add that nice sweet taste that we love in the festival. Next, I'm gonna combine all the ingredients using a wooden spoon and about one and a half cup of water until the dough comes together. I'm gonna use my hand to knead it for a while until it gets very soft but not too sticky. To make the festival shape, you're going to roll the dough and kind of pull on it and ensure that you don't roll it too tight. Also, when you're kneading the flour, ensure that you're not kneading it too tight so that the, the festival don't come out tough. So to fry my festivals, what I like to do is to add them to a medium heated pan. The oil should not be scorching hot ensure that you keep the temperature on low that way the festival won't cook too quick on the outside leaving the inside raw so you want to keep the temperature low so that it can get that nice golden brown color and it's going to help to maintain the softness in the in the festival and it will cook throughout evenly if you, if you leave the fire on high or if the, if the heat is too high, then the festival is just going to cook on the outside and the inside is going to be raw and it's going to be tough and you don't want that. So just keep the fire low and take your time and you will be impressed. So just remember when doing festival, low heat, low heat, low heat heat and don't roll the dough too tight and in the end you're gonna have a nice soft pillowy delicious festival where trust me it just nice and you know i stop eat it okay so moving on to my escovitch sauce this is like the star of the show where all the personality of the fish comes from so to cook this what you're gonna need is four medium-sized onions well what I used was four medium-sized onions four medium-sized carrots and about eight scotch bonnet peppers I'm starting out by sauteing the carrots first then I'm gonna add the onions with the hot scotch bonnet peppers and a few pimento berries I'm gonna let that saute for about two minutes because I don't want to overcook the onions I still want them to keep that crunch Next, I'm going to add about two teaspoons of salt and a cup of vinegar. And I'm going to allow this to simmer for another minute. Then I'm going to add a tablespoon of sugar to finish up everything. And trust me, guys, this is so delicious. The smell, oh my God, the aroma is amazing. What the sugar does is that it creates balance in the escovitch sauce and it cuts that sharpness of the vinegar so it just brings about a nice balance and to me it makes it taste so much better you can also add the escovitch sauce to a jar and you can store it for a very very long time like i've never seen escovitch sauce go bad in my life so you can store it for a very very long time and you can use it right away on your fish some people use it to preserve the fish so like if you ever pass a local shop that sells fish and they have it in that glass case then fry the fish put the escovitch sauce on it and it lasts like for a very long time so guys here i am making myself a plate I have my yellowtail snapper, my sprat fish, and my cutlass fish with, of 
course two festival oh my god this was so good and then the escovite sauce on top oh my god never gets old like this are one of my favorite favorite ways of having fish it was so delicious and it's quick and easy to make like everything is quick and easy to make you can do this in under one hour Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you have a great Easter holiday. And let me know what you think in the comment section below. And until next time, bye guys.